Hello, this video is about productivity tips that would help you take the best advantage of your mornings every day. Welcome to today's video and today I'm going to be talking to you about productivity tips that can help you supercharge your mornings like I said in the introduction. So now let's get right into it. Before we start, the first thing I want to say is that if you consistently do these things every day, these tips can change your life literally the way they change mine, right? So I'm not just here to come and tell you some random things. These are things that I have found on the internet and I have tried over the years and they have helped me form, you know, interesting habits of waking early in the morning and doing amazing things for myself. And you know, this thing where they say it takes 13 days for a habit to form or something like that. Yes. So if you do these things consistently over time, they become a part of you. So let's actually see what these things are. The first thing is the early riser advantage, right? Waking up early and starting your day early actually helps you get a lot of things done. And you know, in the morning, there are not too many distractions. There are not too many people your brain is also fresh you're just waking up the drama of the day hasn't hit you yet so you're able to check off a lot of things from your list early in the day and honestly this thing works like a charm because me personally i wake up at 6 every day 6 to 6 30 right so between 6 and 7 a.m i'm up and i start my day at 7 30 8 a.m depending on how many things i have to do like you know my morning routine differs and for me morning routine is like okay am i having breakfast or am i praying you know all these things like that obviously influence when my day like when i get to work right but waking up early and starting my day early is something that helps me achieve a lot in the mornings and i would definitely advise that you do that too The next thing I want to say is having a mindful morning routine. So don't just like wake up and next thing you do is open your computer. I mean, I used to do this a lot when I was in university. I'm not even going to lie. Like once my roommate turns on the lights, cause I had just one roommate in uni. Once she wakes up and she turns on the lights, I wake up too. And the next thing I step beside my laptop and I wake up and the next thing I do is open my computer. But that's not life if I'm being very honest. And obviously that was because as, a, as someone in the university, I had a lot of things I was doing as a student. And I honestly don't even know why, but let's not even get into that today. So don't just like, you know, get out of bed and jump straight into work. Have some kind of mindful morning routine. Are you someone that is into meditation? And you, are you someone that does exercise? Do you do typical introspections, how your previous day went and then journal? what happened in your previous day are you religious so do you pray in the mornings do you do yoga obviously you don't want to do things that take your time as much so if you do exercise you don't want to do the kind of exercise that you would typically do on saturday that runs like two hours right maybe something small some kind of warm-up maybe do it, if you have a thread meal doing it for like 30 minutes getting yourself active do some kind of mindful routine like whatever that means for you and drinking water Drinking water is very important. It's part of the routine. When you wake up in the morning, you should drink water. It, water is like a detox. Water is the answer to all our problems. I'm not even joking. And this isn't me here coming to preach health. It's just like, water is good for your skin. Water is good for your mind. Water washes you inside. Water is also good in the morning, right? So when you're having these mindful morning routines, after you're done with whatever it is you do to clear your mind in the morning, like me it's prayer for some people it's you know introspection what happened the previous day journaling for some people it's some kind of meditation for others it's exercise figure out what that is for you and use that to clear your head at the start of the day it works like a charm i promise you the next thing i want to say is that you should plan the nights before right i do this a lot and it helps me a lot of times i forget to be honest and that's because i think my brain is all powerful and i put it in my brain but somehow the next day in the course of my day i miss out some things but this year 
I'm trying to consciously make sure that I actually write these things out the night before. <laughs> I'm sure that like, you know, when the people that live with me come like the night before I go to bed, they are seeing me writing some different things in books, in like three different books. One book is me journaling because I, I try to write about my day the night before, not the next day. So I try to write about my day my day the previous nights right and when i'm done with that one then i will do my manifestations and then when i'm done with that one i will write up my to do so it's like why are you always writing but it's helping me right and i would definitely suggest that you do that as well so yes plan the nights before what tasks do you want to achieve you know the next day prioritize them as well and keep that to do list and make sure that as you are going you know through your morning you're checking things off that list you'd see that you'd have done a lot by the time it's noon or technically morning is over ah, this one is very important please sleep early i'm talking about how i wake up by six right between six and seven i'm up i promise you that except on special days like today because i am shooting and that's because i don't have work tomorrow right so even if i oversleep i know that i would wake up a bit destabilized but i will stabilize myself during the day and i'll be okay but it's not the same when you know your typical life is that you know you have to wake up early in the morning at least before eight right if if you're not doing like if you're not sleeping well let's say you're going to bed at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Obviously, this means is that if you are going to get healthy sleep, which is, for me, I sleep between 6 and 8 hours, right? I try to get between 7 to 8 hours of sleep, but sometimes it just happens that I, I get 6 hours of sleep and I'm up and I can't go and do anything. Like, I have to be up, right? I can't sleep back. But, like, if you are constantly not getting enough sleep, 3 hours, 4 hours, it's not even good for your brain. It's not good for your health. It's not good for your life generally right so make sure that you are sleeping early i know if i say 10 p.m people will start shouting like hey am i a child is he like out?" <laughs> but actually from like 10 p.m 11 p.m what are you doing a week i mean obviously yes there can be exceptions like sorry on saturdays when you know bb niger is happening i'm up to watch the party because i'm looking for the drama that will unfold i don't really care about the party what i want to see is after the party when everybody's drunk right so you know once in a while yes it's allowed if you if that's your thing or the days maybe you go out and you spend you know longer hours and things like that is allowed but don't let that be a natural thing don't let it be a normal routine in your life where you are just a night crawler try to go to sleep early at least at midnight by 12 go to bed right it helps you because that thing they say early to bed early to rise makes a person healthy wealthy and wise we all said this thing in primary school and it's actually the truth go to bed early so that you can wake up early and you can be healthy you can be wealthy and you can be wise okay The next thing I want to say is, you know, nutrition. I've sort of talked about hydration before, right? So have a healthy breakfast and drink water. Me personally, I don't have breakfast till midday because I do intermittent fasting. So in the morning, I just drink a lot of water. Or if I find like, or sometimes tea as well, like, you know, green tea, chamomile tea, any kind of tea that is available in my house that I just see, I will go and drink, you know, in the morning. Or if I see like a, clementine clementine tangerine whatever it's called i will take it in the morning because i don't typically like to eat actual food till noon but yeah hydrating and you know getting some kind of breakfast is good for you to start your day another important thing is if you're going to be in work mode in the morning please mute your phone put it on dmd do you understand like because people are going to want to reach out to you stay away from your phone like a like a phone detox like a device detox do you understand because see you want to check that instagram that tiktok that especially tiktok you want to check all these apps do you understand or twitter for gist the previous drag people they were dragging the day before what happened what's the latest gist 
you can calm down, right? You can meet it later on. Or if at all, you even meet itself if it's that relevant. You want to focus in the morning. And if your, if your phone is constantly buzzing, you can't focus. If you don't want to turn off your, your mobile phone or you don't want to put it on DND for whatever reason, take it away from you. Move, be in the living room, put the phone under your pillow right in your bedroom right so that you don't know when anything is happening and you can actually actually focus focus is very important and cutting off distractions our mobile phones are distractions right cutting off these distractions help us focus schedule things use your calendar right create focus time on your calendar block out time for you to do work in the morning and this one is especially for the you know office people that spend you know traffic in the morning you know they leave their house like you know when they wake up and they have their breakfast they shower all of that they leave their house and then they get to the office at like 8 30 9 9 30 right block out time for you to just work in the morning after you've calmed down and you've had office breakfast or house breakfast use that time to work i don't know this is me personally right when i used to work in office after lunch like this there's nothing you want to tell me after lunch like the day is done except that i have a meeting but like i like to do serious work in the morning because after work rather after lunch i'm just not in the mood anymore i want to play <laughs> not like play and start disturbing everybody because obviously you cannot be disturbing people you know but like i i just don't feel i rather use after lunch to like you know respond to emails or do some meetings things that don't require actually sitting down and writing code because at that point i've context switched into like a different dimension i guess is what i'm trying to say i don't know if there are people like me right but the point is if you are like me you want to utilize your morning so you want to set focus time so nobody is even trying to block your calendar for a quick 15 minutes meeting during that focus time that focus time is for you whether you set it on your calendar or if you're on teams or slack you set your status to a way you know focusing back at 1 p.m you know whatever it is but you want to set that focus time you want to set time for yourself so that you can focus on the mornings if you work remotely you are at home obviously it's way easier but i wanted to just you know talk about this because i know that not everyone that is watching this video works remotely or works from home another thing is that you should take breaks right and there's this thing called the pomodoro technique i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly and there are many apps that implement that technique where like you have like different bursts of time to do work like a sprint right so it's like okay you're doing work for 30 minutes stop no in, no interruption and then you have a five minutes break you know then another burst 30 minutes sprint do work and then you have a five minutes break you know it helps a lot for your mind so you can like you know take advantage of that as well and you know have these short bursts of time where you do those things and then you take those breaks and remember as well to celebrate your morning wins right celebrate the little things that you do in the morning celebrate yourself yeah i'm a fan of myself i love my life i love myself i love to celebrate myself so i would always 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 advocate for people to celebrate themselves as well you get but yeah celebrating yourself is very 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 important you know you do that as well in the morning i hope these tips have been useful for you if you try them out let me know how it goes and let me know if your mornings become a lot more productive than they are i generally am a morning person if you are not a morning person it might be a bit different for you i don't really know how that works but if you want to actually experiment and try and see if you have better mornings when you try this out please do if you have any other additional tips please leave a comment if you think i forgot anything please leave a comment if you have a question please leave a comment and i'll be looking at the comments thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye